Half of us call him Charlie, the other half call him Charles. Charles has not been able to keep food down. Anytime he's been eating, it's been coming up. Water as well. He's a year old and he's very hyper, loves to play, loves to be around people. He's a very happy, loving puppy. How's Charlie? He's not keeping anything down. Just this morning, he got up, went, drank water, and then it was from the kitchen all the way through my living room. Huh. So he's vomiting up food. Does it look like it's digested? No, not at all. Not at all? OK. No. It's all clear. Yeah. There's no yellow bile or clear anything like that. It's, all, it's always clear grass or dog food. But otherwise, he's happy. Yeah. He has been playing with toads, and I did not know that those were toxic. We've heard that toads are poisonous, and we've been noticing him throwing them up in the air, and it's been a big puppy game for him. <laughs> so I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I do know that it's he's had a lot of them. <laughs> I don't think the toad eating is causing his problem. When you have a dog come in that's vomiting, especially a young, healthy dog, the first step is to find out whether it's regurgitation or actual vomiting. Vomiting means there's an upset in the stomach or intestines. Does it kind of slide out, or is he more like making an effort? He's to not making an effort. It's it just it coming just out. Coming right out. Yeah. Maybe not getting all the way down to his stomach. Yeah, it's not getting down to his stomach, I don't think. I and mean, he eats, and it just comes right out. OK. Charlie's regurgitating. The issue is higher up in his GI tract. <laughs> You're cutie. You're such a good boy. All right. We'll go get him taken care of. Really highest on my radar is megaesophagus, which is dilation of the esophagus. We better find something, Charlie. Any kind of obstruction or abdominal cause wasn't high on my list because he seems to feel so well. Doesn't look sick. He's too happy to have an obstruction. Yeah. I don't think there's an obstruction, but I was thinking megaesophagus. Oh. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Um, yeah, that, to me, looks big. Yeah. Charlie's throat is way too big. Oh, oh. Yeah, see, that everybody says, that. oh. <laughs> his muscles are loose and can't push food into his stomach. It's likely an innervation issue, so his nerves aren't communicating properly with the smooth muscle in the esophagus. So he has mega esophagus because, I mean, it's stretched out or it's flaccid. He's eating his food, and it's not getting all the way to his stomach. That's why all of his food is just sliding out of him. Okay. So we'll need to okay. slow down his eating. You could spoon feed him, or there's a chair. It's called a Bailey chair. They're going to have to put Charlie in a chair called a Bailey chair to get him to sit up. Um, so all the food slides down where it's supposed to go. They need to feed him more frequently and smaller portions. It's probably going to be a lot of work. I don't think there's much else we can really do about it, but he will be OK. This is something new to me. I've never heard of this condition before. It'll be a learning curve for both Charlie and Melissa. I'm a little concerned. Normally, I guess eat as his leisure, so I'm a little bit nervous of getting him put on an actual schedule and, you know, having to hand feed him. 